Happy Blessed Midweek po sa ating lahat. Gandang gabi po sa inyo. Tagal-tagal na naman tayo hindi nagkikita-kita pero excited na tayo magkasama-sama muli sa atin pong uh, midweek po na ito. Before I read the comments, ay gusto ko lamang pong sabihin na yung atin pong isi-share po mamaya is not about yung attributes of God. Although I was so excited to share it with you but then I realized last week na hindi pala hindi pa pala tapos yung atin pong series regarding sa soul winning sapagkat right after verse 13 in Matthew chapter 5 being the salt of the earth ay mayroon pong light of the world and we want to focus on that kasi napakahalaga po although that will be this will be our last na sharing regarding po sa soul winning pero hindi naman po ibig sabihin uh, na uh, Although this will be the last sharing po regarding soul winning sa atin pong midweek, hindi naman po ibig sabihin na matatapos na rin ang ating soul winning. Soul winning never stops as a Christian at bilang isang church. So mamaya po, I will be sharing with you regarding being the light of the world. Basahin ko po muna yung po mga comments last Wednesday. Sabi po ni Sister Mary Lucamayang, watching. And I hope you're watching now. Amen. Good evening po sa ating lahat. God bless. Kay Sister Estrelita Navas. Amen. Kay Sister Cecil is watching. Kay Sister Ruth Moya watching with you. Good evening everyone. Kay Ma'am Lori Cruz. Good evening Pastor. Good evening po Major. And uh, kay uh, Sister Roda of Monhebajang, Amen. Kay Brother Dominador Ugalde, Amen, Pastor Mark. Kay Sister Ruth Moya Pule, as salt of the earth, may we be a restraining factor of this world's total decay and downfall before our Lord returns. Tama po kayo. Kay Sister Zenaida Bosi Herena, gandang gabi po sa lahat. Kay Sister Joyce Riazonda, Amen. Kay Sister Marites, Amen. Help me Lord to be such. At yan po yung prayer din ng bawat isa po na sa atin. Kay uh, Mami Rosalinda Agbayani, Amen Pastor Mark. Kay uh, Doc Metz Bitun, Amen. At makikita rin po natin yung pong mga nag-react, may mga praying hands at big heart at uh, Marami pong salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay. We hope and pray na patuloy na nagiging pagpapala ang ating pong midweek music and meditation sa bawat isa sa atin. Ang desire po natin ay patuloy na gamitin ng Diyos ang mga gawain katulad nito na maabot ang ating pong mga spiritual na pangailangan. And please let us know uh, kung paano nagiging blessing ang mga gawain pong katulad nito sa bawat isa. Sa atin. And before I share, I uh, nais po natin makapakinig muna ng isang awitin to be rendered to us by Sister Faith Balisi. God bless po.
I'd like to share with you from the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14 to 16. Here is a continuation of what we have shared last week. In verse 14, ang sabi po ng Bible, Ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. We are living in probably one of the darkest times. The sinfulness of the world is getting worse and worse. Darkness creates fear in people, People become anxious, unhappy, depressed, worried, even angry, and selfish. The need for light is very important. The world needs light. They need light in darkness. Why? Bakit po kaya kailangan ng liwanag? Because light does two things. First, it reveals the truth. Kapag ka po mayroon tayong hinahanap na isang bagay sa isang madilim na lugar, ang una nating hahanapin ay ang liwanag. Sapagkat kapag ka atin pong pinagliwanag yan, most likely makikita natin kung ano yung atin pong hinahanap. The most important truth in this world or the most important truth that this world must see is that we are sinners and that we need salvation that can only be found in the Lord Jesus Christ who died on the cross to redeem us kung meron mang pinakamahalaga ay walang iba kung hindi ang ma-realize ng isang tao siya ay isang makasalanan hindi niya kayang iligtas ang kanyang sarili at kailangan niya si Yeso Kristo na namatay sa krus ng kalbaryo para tayo ay tubusin sa ating mga kasalanan. The other reason why we need light is not only that it reveals truth, but that light dispels darkness. The only reason why there is darkness actually is, it is because of the absence of light. I remember yung sang story nga ni Albert Einstein when his professor once challenged people who believe in God na ang sinasabi niya, if there is God, then why is there evil in this world? And one of the things na nilinaw ni Albert Einstein was when he asked, if the professor believes in cold. Pero ang sabi ni nung professor ay yes, but then ang cold po talaga is the absence of heat. Same thing with darkness. You cannot really measure darkness. Alam niyo kung paano nasusukat ang darkness. Nasusukat lang yan by how much or the amount of light na meron tayo. Because the truth is, there is no darkness. It is only the absence of light kung bakit po mayroong kadiliman. Light 
is essential to this sin-darkened world. So Jesus taught his disciples about being the light of the world. We are God's light-emitting disciples. Di yung sabi nga po natin sa atin pong uh, promotion na LED. You are God's LEDs, light-emitting disciples to this world. First, He identified them to be the light. Ang sabi niya po dito, Ye are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Christians are the light of the world. If you have trusted Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, then you are the light of the world. You know, the Greek word for light here is the word phos. That's where we take the word photo. So, meaning to say that we are a photograph of who Jesus is. If you are the light of the world, you become a an image of who Jesus is. And then in this sin-darkened world, people need to see the light. At ang sabi ng Panginoong Heso Cristo, you are the light of the world. We are supposed to show His image to the world. Secondly, He incited to them regarding their light. He aroused their senses by showing how light is supposed to work. Ang sabi niya po dito in verse 14 again, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. A city on a hill cannot be hid. Dito po sa... Karig ay nakikita po natin siguro marahil yung atin pong municipal hall, ang atin pong city hall. Every night ay tuwang-tuwa akong nakikita yan kapag ka po magagabi na, pagka pinailaw na po nila, yan para bang napakaganda pong tanawin. Because it's always seen. It's on a hill. Here's a photo of Santorini, Greece. Napakagandang lugar at mas lalo pong na-expose ang kanyang kagandahan because it is set on a hill. If you are a Christian, you're supposed to be exposed. Nakikita dapat tayo. Hindi pwedeng tayo yung may tatago because light cannot be hidden. There is no such thing as a secret agent Christian. May isa pong pastor ang preaching niya. Sabi niya sa mga uh, ano ng palataya, you are the soldiers of God. Ang sabi nung uh, nung isang supposedly or proposing professing Christian, ako po'y isang soldier of the Lord. Sabi nung pastor sa kanya, totoo? Bakit parang hindi yata kita nakikita sa church? Pag may discipleship group tayo, wala ka. At baka, bakit parang hindi yata nila alam sa inyong opisina na ikaw ay isang kristyano? Ang sabi nung, nung member, Pastor, secret agent kasi ako. <laughs> wala, hong, wala hong secret agent na kristyano. If you are a light, ikaw ay dapat na nagliliwanag. It should not be placed under a basket ang sabi dyan. Because light put under a basket or covered, loses its purpose. Nawawala po yung purpose natin. Ang purpose po ng ilaw, ang sabi nga natin kanina, is to reveal the truth and dispel darkness. Meaning to say, it is beneficial to the world. Kailangan po ng mundo, ng mga tao, ang liwanag. The third thing is, after he identified them to be the light of the world, and then after he incited to them regarding their light, He instructed them with their light. Ito ang instruction ng Panginoong Heso Kristo sa kanila. Sabi niya in verse 16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Let your light so shine. 
How? By our good works. Yung mabuting gawa po natin. If you have it, if you have the light in you, don't hide it. Huwag mo itago yan. No, we are not saved by our good works. At alam naman po dapat natin yan. But then, our good works should follow after our salvation. That is what Apostle James was pointing out when he said in James chapter 2 and verse 18, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Ipapakita ko sa iyo ang aking pananampalataya sa pamagitan ng aking gawa. What's interesting here is when Jesus said, You are the light of the world, He also said, I am the light of the world. He claimed that in John chapter 8 and verse 12. He said, I am the light of the world. So, what did Jesus mean when he said he was the light of the world and then he pointed out to the Christians or the disciples, you are the light of the world. It means that the real source of light is none other than Jesus Christ. Inire-reflect lamang po natin yung liwanag na nagmumula mismo sa Panginoong Heso Kristo. When I was a kid, I always get amazed at the moon. Every night, pagka po magdidilim na at uh, makikita na yung liwanag ng, ng buwan, na-amaze talaga ako kung paanong mayroong parang napakalaking ilaw sa kalangitan, bagamat madilim. But then, As I grew up, yung pong pag-iisip ko na yan, I was, I was amazed at that because I thought na yung buwan has his own, its own light. But then, nung tumatanda, habang tumatanda ako sa aking pag-aaral, my science teacher told us na wala naman pala talagang liwanag ang buwan. And makikita natin din dito sa image po na ito kung ano talaga ang itsura ng buwan. But then at night, it lights up because it reflects the light that comes directly from the sun. Sa araw pala nang gagaling, yun pong liwanag ng buwan. That is the same thing with us as Christians. We can only reflect the light that comes from the sun of God. You know something else interesting? The only time that the moon doesn't shine is when it experiences eclipse or yung tinatawag nga po nating lunar eclipse. It's when the earth or the world gets in between the sun and the moon. And here's the world. The Bible says that is the same thing with Christians. We start experiencing eclipse o nawawala yung pagliliwanag natin when the world gets in between us and the Son of God, Jesus. The Bible says in Mark chapter 4 and verse 19, Ang sabi nga ng Bible that the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and lust of other things makes us unfruitful or ineffective. In our case, as the light, we worry here and there. Nakakalungkot po kapag ka yung pag-aalala natin, oo po, may pandemia and COVID is real. Oo po, affected talaga financially. Maraming bagay ang affected. Pero nakalulungkot kapag ka tayo ay kristyano at pareho lang din yung pag-aalala natin katulad ng mundo. Hindi ba dapat na kung meron mang magliliwanag sa gantong kadiliman ay walang iba kung hindi tayong mga kristyano? Ang sabi ng Bible in Mark chapter 4 and verse 19, not just the cares of this world but the deceitfulness of riches. When we think that more money will make us more happy. Marami hong tao, yan ang kanilang mindset. 
Akala nila, pag mas maraming pera, mas masaya. That's the deceitfulness of riches. I'm not saying na mali po o masama na magkapera. Pero kapag ka ang mindset mo ay akala mo, ang pera ang makapagpapasaya sa'yo, magbibigay sa'yo ng fulfillment or yun pong satisfaction in life, you're getting it wrong. And you are just like the world na para bang madilim. Light up, mga kapatid. Light up. When that happens to us, when we get deceived by the cares of this world and yung pong riches po na yan, it will cover the light that should, you should be reflecting for others. So, how can we let our light so shine? Kasi ang sabi po dito, let your light so shine. Hindi lamang po sinabing let your light shine. Ibig sabihin, talagang pagliliwanagin po natin yan. How can we do that? By being intentional. Magiging intentional disciples po tayo. Intentional in staying close to the Son of God through Bible reading. Alam niyo po, isa sa uh, pinagpapasalamat ko ngayon sa nangyayari po na pa- pandemic, although ma- ma- mabigat talaga ang situation natin, is nabigyan din ng pagkakataon yung atin pong mga uh, young people. Uh, nagkakaroon sila ng every night ng doctrinal uh, lessons. Imagine our young people na instead na kung ano ginagawa sa, sa labas, ngayon po ay nagkaaral ng salita ng Diyos. And it should be the same way with us. Maging intentional po tayo. Read the Bible and pray. Manalangin po tayo. Dapat nga mas lalo tayo maging prayerful ngayon. Eh. Opo, dumadami ang cases. Kaya dapat mas lalo tayo maging prayerful. We let our light shine by being intentional. We will be closer to the Son of God by Bible reading, by prayer, and of course, yun pong church life natin as we worship. Kapag ka po hindi tayo pwedeng magsama-sama, let us continue sa atin pong online worship. Pagka pwede tayong magkasama-sama, magsama-sama po tayo. Dapat nasa church po tayo. No? And yung other godly activities. Ito po, may mga practices tayo, may iba't iba tayo mga activities na ginagawa. Hindi po natin to ginagawa para lang may magawa. We do this intentionally because we want to light up this dark world. And then, pagkatapos po natin gawin yan, we live out kung ano yung natututunan po natin. It is not enough na marami tayong natututunan, kailangan na ipapamuhay po natin by our good works. Yung mabuting mga gawa po natin. And as we do good works, sa trabaho, sa atin po mga kapitbahay, kung saan man po tayong lugar, we should also share Jesus, the light to others. By the grace of God, we will be able to light up in this dark world that they may no longer live in darkness but experience life in the light. Let's light up for Jesus, mga kapatid. You are an LED, a light-emitting disciple. God bless po sa atin. Shall we pray? Our God and our Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this wonderful time that you have given us through your word. Help us, O oh God, to light of this world. Ikaw po ang nagsabi that we are the light of this world now. And help us by your grace na patuloy lamang po maging close sa iyo doon sa true source of light upang ma-reflect namin kung sino ka sa mundong ito. Pagpalain po ninyo ang amin pong napag-aralan at kayo ang patuloy na maluwalhati sa amin pong mga buhay. In Jesus' name we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. God bless po.